So, humanity's latest super telescope is looking super far out, picking up light that's been traveling for over 13 billion years. This light isn't just old, it shows how the universe has changed as it expands. When we look at the most far-off galaxies, we're basically seeing the early days of the cosmos, heading back to the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory says the universe started at a specific point and has a limited age. However, even though it's a main idea in cosmology, some people still question it. Even after the cosmic microwave background, CMB, was found in the 1960s, which seemed to back up the Big Bang, new stuff found by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has brought back old doubts and made people ask new questions. The JWST, like NASA's time machine, has shown us groups of old galaxies that are bigger and more common than we thought they'd be. This makes us rethink how the early universe worked. This telescope can see the time when the first galaxies were forming, giving us a view Hubble couldn't really get. Hubble just wasn't good enough to see the weak, red-shifted light from those early galaxies. The JWST lets us look way back to almost the beginning of time itself. But this brings up an old mystery. How did the first galaxies actually form, and did the universe really start with one big bang? The early universe was hot and dense, so light couldn't travel freely. That means our telescopes can't see any further back using light. But we're not stuck with just light. New tech is letting us find gravitational waves from black holes crashing into each other. This could be a new way to peek into the universe's early days, maybe even the Big Bang itself. The doubts about the Big Bang theory go back to the 1920s and 30s. Astronomers noticed that far-off galaxies seem to be moving away from us. This, along with Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang model. Einstein's math said that a still universe wouldn't be stable, it would either shrink or grow. Seeing the universe expand suggested that galaxies used to be closer together, pointing to a big explosion at the start. The universe's expansion has big results. Objects move further apart, and light from them stretches out, shifting to longer wavelengths. Since wavelength relates to energy, shorter wavelengths mean more energy, this redshifting means the universe has been cooling down over time. If we rewind this expansion, we get to a point where everything was super hot and dense, so atoms couldn't exist, leading to a uniform, burning glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when two guys found the cosmic microwave background, a faint radiation that echoes the universe's fiery start. But as the JWST pushes how far we can see, scientists are finding things in the early universe that don't quite fit the Big Bang story. We're seeing big, bright galaxies where they shouldn't be, grouped together in ways we don't expect. So, if the Big Bang Theory alone can't explain these weird things, what else could? The heart of the Big Bang Theory is a singularity, a point where everything is squeezed into infinite density and temperature, and the laws of physics don't work. That's where space and time supposedly begin. But this idea, while cool, has its limits. Imagine trying to explain everything existing as a single, superdense point. That's where our understanding breaks down. Even though some parts of the Big Bang model are backed up by what we've seen and by experiments, this starting singularity is still a mystery. Could the universe have started in a different way? To understand the cosmos, science has found ways to recreate similar conditions. For example, quark-gluon plasma has been made in labs, and matter-antimatter pairs have been produced to match early universe predictions. Through these experiments and by looking at the cosmic microwave background's changes, we have a pretty good idea of how the universe changed. But big mysteries are still there. For example, if all parts of space were once squeezed into one point, why is the universe's temperature so even? Normal models say areas of space should have different temperatures since they wouldn't have had time to share energy or info. Also, we might expect to find leftovers from the hottest times, like magnetic monopoles or weird space stuff, but we don't see any of that. These differences open up new possibilities. Maybe the universe just had these balanced properties from the start, or maybe something made those conditions happen. One idea is cosmic inflation, a super-fast expansion that might have happened before the Big Bang itself. Back in 1979, a physicist named Alan Goose had a cool idea. He said that before the hot Big Bang, the universe grew super-fast. This inflation could explain why the universe looks flat, even, and the same in all directions. After inflation, the universe would have gone into the hot, dense state we call the Big Bang, setting the scene for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. 
But scientists now realize that even cosmic inflation doesn't solve everything. For example, the JWST has spotted surprisingly big galaxies from the early universe, which suggests they formed faster than inflation alone can explain. The JWST gives us an amazing look into the cosmos. This huge infrared telescope has taken awesome pictures of the early universe, showing lots of big, bright galaxies from when the universe was just a small fraction of its current age. Astronomers used to think they knew how matter came together to form the first stars and galaxies, but the JWST's findings suggest things happened much faster. These observations have made scientists excited but also cautious, as some are having to rethink basic ideas about how galaxies form. According to one astrophysicist, the big galaxies seen in the first 500 million years of cosmic history don't fit existing models. The JWST's early results hint that galaxies in that early time might be much bigger and more common than we thought, maybe even as big as galaxies like our Milky Way today. This fast growth challenges the models we have now, which say a galaxy that big shouldn't have formed until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. The research suggests galaxies might have been growing more aggressively than we thought, which could mean we need to come up with new ideas about how galaxies changed. Dark matter, a mysterious substance we can't see, is thought to make up about 85% of the universe's mass and shapes how the cosmos looks on a large scale. Normal cosmology says that galaxies form inside big halos of dark matter, which uses gravity to pull in normal matter, letting stars and galaxies come together. But JWST observations challenge this model because galaxies seem to be forming in ways that don't match how we think dark matter is spread out. The presence of dark energy, another force we don't understand that's making the universe expand faster, makes things even more complicated. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a temporary boost in dark energy density, could have sped up galaxy formation, which might match what the JWST is finding. But any changes to our models have to fit with the bigger picture of the standard cosmological model, which has done a good job of explaining how the cosmos has changed on a large scale. Even though the Big Bang theory is good, it's not the only idea out there. Several other theories have gotten attention, and they all offer different ways of looking at things.